And hello everyone, I'm Steve Kornacki here at MSNBC headquarters in New York. And guess what? We are just two days out now, two days to go until the big Iowa caucuses, the first votes of the 2020 primary season. They will be counted Monday night. All the Democratic candidates are out in Iowa today. And of course, this is no ordinary election year. Those candidates are campaigning as the president's impeachment trial continues. It's now going to stretch into next week, a final vote scheduled for Wednesday and next week, of course, also featuring the president's State of the Union address. That will be on Tuesday and also a Democratic presidential candidates debate in New Hampshire. That will be next Friday night. And of course, if you're a Democrat scrambling to try to win over last minute support there in Iowa, you've got some extra competition for attention. And that is the biggest sporting event of the year, the Super Bowl. That's going to be tomorrow night down in Miami. That'll probably be the largest TV event in the year. Some candidates, of course, they are foregoing traditional caucus eve rallies because it would mean coming up against that game. Every hour, of course, is precious in these final days before those caucuses. So let's take a look at where the race stands here in the big board. Two days out, of course, we have been tracking all the polls for months now in Iowa and now really into the final hours of this campaign. This is what it looks like in the Hawkeye State. This is the average of all of the polls that are out there right now. And of course, the movement in these final two weeks, really, of the Iowa campaign, it's right here at the top. It's Bernie Sanders, in the average, has taken a lead of several points over Joe Biden. Biden, of course, has generally led nationally. Sanders, Biden, then Buttigieg in third. Warren, of course, there was a time when it looked like she had a shot to win this thing. She still could, but she's got to do it from behind in the polls now, down at 15 percent. And Klobuchar, are reaching in the double digits, low double digits. She would need a major surge on caucus day to win this thing. But of course, surprises can happen in the Iowa caucuses. They have certainly happened in the past. Yang Steyer, of course, rounding out these numbers. Just draw your attention to one stark divide that could be very important on caucus night in terms of who is going to win this thing. It's the divide over age. So this is from the Monmouth poll. Monmouth took a poll out in Iowa this week. And if you look at, look, how about this? Under 50 years old. Under 50 years old on the Democratic side, Sanders, the runaway leader, nearly 40 percent. Joe Biden, single digits, 39-7. Now, if you jump all the way to the other end there, 65 plus, the oldest group of voters, just look at the contrast between the youngest and the oldest. If you go 65 plus, suddenly it's Biden who's nearly at 40 percent. It's Sanders who's back there in single digits. So overall, a close race between Biden and Sanders statewide. But if you look at the two different ends of the age scale there, it's two different campaigns. And so it is a question. Is this side going to show up more? Is this side going to show up more? We always say turnout is the key. That's a cliche. But really, when you see a divide like this, Turnout is the key to this thing. So let's see who shows up there on Monday night. By the way, the significance of the Iowa caucuses. Why are these so important? We always say small state, not that diverse. There's 49 other states. Why does Iowa matter? Well, certainly it has mattered in the recent past. Four times this century, four times you've had competitive Iowa Democratic caucuses. And all four times the winner of the Iowa caucuses has gone on to win the Democratic nomination. And in fact, if you broaden that out, seven of the last nine times you've had competitive Iowa caucuses, the winner of Iowa has been the Democratic nominee. By the way, better track record than New Hampshire when it comes to picking the nominee. So keep that in mind. All right, two days to go. That kind of track record in mind. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.